Who cares about transformations or sine functions? I care because of noise canceling headphones, CDs and DVDs, touch tone phones, art, audio engineers and concerts, spirals, computer animated games, bats, waves, special effects. True fact, all of these things are connected to the sine curve. Sinusoidal curves are formed from periodic motion. There's got to be an easier way to say that. Well, think about how waves keep moving up and down. Pendulums keep swinging back and forth. Tides keep rising and falling. These are all examples of periodic motion, motion that keeps repeating over and over again. When we graph periodic motion, we can get a sine curve, and it looks like a wave. I find it easier to understand if I think about one of those old-fashioned Ferris wheels. By watching a Ferris wheel go round and round, you can see an example of periodic motion. The green segment helps you see how distance between a point on the Ferris wheel and the ground changes over time. The distance has a maximum, or largest value, and a minimum, or smallest value. As time moves on, this distance is an example of periodic motion. The graphical representation of this periodic motion would be a sine curve. Changes to the Ferris wheel would cause changes to the graph. If we made the wheel bigger, then the peaks of the sine waves would be higher. All those things you saw at the start of this movie have some kind of periodic motion. Even the bats. Bats make sounds, and sounds can be modeled with sine curves. Scientists found out a long time ago that bats use sounds to see. Scientists copied the way bats do it and designed sonar for subs to locate things underwater. Now scientists are making handheld devices so that people who are blind will be able to see with sound. Cool. This complicated looking device is an oscilloscope. The oscilloscope shows a graphical representation of a sound. A different sound produces a different graph. Compare the sounds and graphs. My cousin Cheryl is an audio engineer. She used to play in a rock band, but now she uses sound devices and computer programs to restore and digitize old records. Sometimes I hear a really old song on the radio and I wonder if Cheryl had something to do with getting it there. Cheryl told me about how sine curves connect to the wobble frequency on CDs and DVDs. Sounds interesting. I might use wobble frequency for my next math project. People who use sine curves to create things like noise reducing headphones sometimes work with just the graph and the equation. It can be tough to look at just the mathematical representations. Let's take it one step at a time. The sketch you see on the screen has a sine curve. When this button is clicked, you see the equation. When this point is dragged, the value of A changes. Look for it in the equation. Changing the D parameter does something different to the original curve. C does something different too. All these changes represent changes in real life applications. For example, changing A might represent making a Ferris wheel larger or making a sound louder. So, I care about transformations and sine functions because my life and this world would be very different if we didn't have them.